everyone. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, this works. Okay. <clears throat> now, tonight, I'm going to get going on Queensryche ranking of the albums, but this will actually be quite short. Because in 1997, when Here in the Now Frontier came out, uh, I hated it and didn't listen to anything after that. Saw him on tour in, nine, in the summer of 95 on the Promised Land tour. So all albums from the first up to Promised Land I'll be ranking. Now... Starting in at number six, Empire. I love the title track on this album. And the first two tracks are very uplifting. And I remember in the summer of 91, MTV constantly played the video to Jet City Woman. Got so burnt out on that. Oh, but Another Rainy Night Without You, killer song. All right, next up, The Warning, which is best known for the track, Take Hold of the Flame. And this is the remaster. It's got a studio version of The Prophecy. And... All that goddamn light. Everything looks blurry. <sighs> Anyhow. Okay. Coming in at number four. Operation Mind Crime. Yeah, I know. This is a 1988 classic album. Everyone knows about this album. If you're uh, young and just getting into metal, check out that 1988 gem. Rage for Order, coming in at number three. I love the song Walk in the Shadows. No, in this case, has a crack in it. Ugh. Well, anyhow... They do a cover of Gonna Get Close to You. Mm. London and Chemical Youth, We Are Rebellion. Great songs. Mm -mm. This album's pretty underrated, I think. Alright. Now, coming in at number two, Promised Land. Oh, they were so fu- Well, before I talk about them in the concert, talk about the songs. Bridge. Lady Jane. Great songs. I Am I and Damaged. They're both heavy songs. Mmm. My Global Mind, One More Time Around, Someone Else, Powerful, Hard-Hitting. Yeah. This is not a weak album, and they went on tour, Typo Negative opened, uh, didn't care for them, but they were so goddamn heavy on stage. Oh, I had to plug my fucking ears. My friend laughed at me. <laughs> All right. Coming in at number one, the fucking self-titled EP. Hey, why not? And considering the bonus tracks that the remaster has, it's a full-length album, so... And that covers my Queensryche ranking video. Thank you for watching, and up next, Merciful Fate ranking.